make it yet. I'm gonna make it today. That's my goal today. You're gonna be a sim person with purple hair and everything. But Rocky won't be in it because I, I didn't build a dog store yet, so. Good morning, y'all, again. It's Sunday morning, and we are sitting here laughing at people trying to get out the driveway. Yeah, we laughing. That's how he is. And I'm sitting here on my MacBook, my water, and I am just replying back to some of y'all. And y'all hear the Swift for going, right? Mr. Long is Swifty. And... We are getting ready to um, do something special. We can't tell y'all, cause y'all might tell somebody, and we don't want y'all to tell nobody, right, Jada? Yeah. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Rocky says I get stitches all the time, cause I'm a snitch, bitch. Right I'm a snitch, bitch. What's the song you just made? Snitch. Snitch, bitches, snitch. No. It's snitches, been a while. Snitches get stitches. That's basically what Jada just said. So, we tried to attempt to cook breakfast this morning, but it was an epic fail. Just due to the kitchen is not all the way powered back up yet. The stove comes on. The microwave isn't working. The refrigerator is not like all like on fire, like loaded. And yeah, y'all, I just was sitting here talking to my husband about my situation that I was talking to y'all about earlier with friendships and text messages. And I wanna just add this, y'all. I have come back, cause I, I lost my train of thought just that quick cause I wasn't thinking about it. But I had something to tell y'all. I just don't forget. So y'all, these are the benefits of living on base or living on this particular base that I live on because they plays no games. Y'all see? Y'all see Mr. coming in, right? He done cleared the walkway. But y'all see the plowman done come through and he is going to move the damn snow. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. Y'all see him, he's so happy he ain't gotta do nothing else. He done did his work for the day. Yes. Y'all, why the power done went out again? This is some bullshit, like, for real. I'm glad I wasn't cooking either because you saw I took my food, my meat out to cook. Y'all hear my buddy follow me, right? Where are you going? Are you bundling back up? <laughs> Dude, you is funny. You are so funny. Let me go get my Uggs back on my feet. Go take a shower, cause you thinking it's about to be warm again and child psych. You dirty. Why are you standing out here when you can get in the car? Oh my God, you being special. Y'all, we venturing out. Power went out again. And the people done came and shoveled the snow and all that good stuff. But dang, can we have some power? Ah! All right, we is at our favorite Chinese place near our house, and I called to find out if they was open, and he he recognized my voice. He's like, "Come on, Long, come on, come on." She just happy to be pimping somebody power right now. Him just happy to be watching football. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. 
Okay. So now we finna chill and enjoy the power until our power come back on. Um, having trouble communicating with guests. Oh, my TV's not that thick. This, this is how thick it is, y'all. This is how thick it is. Chabu, chabu. Dreaded driveway. Here we go. This is for the back this thing up. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's after midnight, and before I could come talk to y'all, I had to scare my girl Jazz away. And if y'all watching this video, I hope you done seen the video that I was wishing her happy birthday with the whole family. However, I'm trying to get off of this so I can get back upstairs, cause Mr. Long be missing me, especially when it's cold like this, okay? We have had an adventurous day today, just with the power going out three times a day, y'all. Then the gas went out at one time, so the fireplace wasn't working, so it was like... Really? They need to stop playing. Like, how are we supposed to stay warm? Like, for real. We decided to leave the house, and that's when y'all saw that we went and had Chinese, and it's a gluten-free. And y'all, we eat Chinese, however, we only eat shrimp. That's all we eat. We don't eat chicken. We don't eat beef. We don't need, we need, we don't need to be trying to eat the little puppies and cats and stuff, because y'all know they be doing that, right? Anyway. We was going to go to the movies, have uh, Mr. Long... Y'all, I ain't paying ten dollars for him to go sleep in nobody movie theater, okay? He admitted he was sleeping, therefore we decided to come home. However, we have been talking a lot about what happened Friday night. And somebody had asked, what was Mr. Long's response on me losing a friend? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say this, and I'm not gonna lie or sugarcoat it. My husband feels like good riddance. And this is why, y'all. Because this has happened three times he is over it that's my best friend for life right there y'all know he's always been my friend even before we became lovers and before we became husband and wife and i do value how he feels about things my husband has never been the one to pick and choose my friends for me he will accept and tolerate however he said with this one he just feels like good written he was like i remember the first time it happened and when i told when i tell y'all like she gave me back everything she gave me at back everything in a large trash bag i was hurt i was very hurt by that and he's like second time he wasn't home when it happened he was deployed he was in afghanistan and then he was sitting there right by me when i got this text message on the third time and he was like you know steph I will never be happy about somebody always trying to hurt you or break your heart. He said he was very surprised at my response when my reply only was okay. However, because I love hard, y'all. I love hard and I think I'm a good friend. However, I just don't think I am able to be the friend that she needs me to be right now. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I had to learn this a long time ago and when I say long, I ain't talking about that long ago. I'm talking about like five years ago. I had to learn the hard way that I can't take on everybody's burdens and troubles. I can't be super save a hoe. I can't be her. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. Her cape don't fit me. Her cape don't fit. It, 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 it's too small. And the reason I'm saying her cape don't fit me is because to be super saver hoe, you have to be somebody that don't have a life, okay? You, you, you can't have a life. You, you can't have responsibilities. You can't have obligations. You just are someone that's going to always be there. I don't know what much more she expected from me. I just really don't. And like I told y'all, I do have, I have a lot of expectancies for this year. I have to just keep it moving because you know what? God places people in your life and he also removes them and actually she removed herself so I need to take heed of what what God has allowed to happen and I'm gonna just take it as it works in my favor and you know I said it earlier to y'all I love her I always love her I always keep her in my prayers and I always want the best for her however the best just ain't with me it's not I used to take on people's burdens and people would call me with problems and frustrations. And y'all, when I say people, I'm not just talking about like outside people. I'm talking about some of my family members. They used to call me and it'd just be like a transfer of negative energy. And it's like you transfer it to me 
I receive it and it becomes mine. And when it starts to affect your body, your sleep, you having headaches and stress and all of that, that's when you have to take control of the wheel and you have to be like, whip this and you know back. what? And no. you know what? You will not no. be you dropping, not stuff, be dropping off stuff off at my, at dough, my dough anymore. anymore. And I had to learn that. And how I learned it, I told y'all, I am not opposed to people going to get therapy, you know, sitting down and talking to a psychotherapist or a psychologist and, you know, talking to them about your problems because I've had to do that before. Like I said, when my husband was deployed, I wasn't dealing with being separated from him. And then I had issues on a job that I once worked at and it was like a freaking mutiny. And then the third incident was just my separation anxiety dealing with my daughter leaving to go to college. Jess has always been with me, always around me. You know, it's like I didn't deal well with those things. So, yes, I seeked help. Two different therapists told me two things that will forever remain with me. One being that, Stephanie, if you keep allowing stress into your life, you have to make a decision if you want to live or if you want to die because stress will kill you. Okay, guess Stephanie what? Likes Stephanie likes being able breathe. to okay. touch Stephanie and likes feel and see being the able world. To touch and and feel I'm and sorry, see the world. but I love and living, I'm sorry, laughing, but I love living and laughing, laughing, and loving. And loving. And that's my mantra that's my right, right there. That's, 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 that's what, what I live by. by. And the second thing that a therapist had told me, they was like, people will attach themselves to you. People will leech onto you and try to suck the freaking life out of you. And if you allow that, you are allowing negativity to enter your space. You're allowing, you know, people to literally have the power to drain you of any happiness or any anything anything good happening in your life because you are caught up in that ish i had just learned that after i was able to get control of that because clearly i have control of it i don't allow that shit like that to happen to me anymore and i say no to negativity i say no to drama and i will <laughs> stomp the brakes on your ass okay if you are trying to bring that my way, like I said, I wish her nothing but the best. And I, I hope everything that's going on in her life, I hope it gets better for her. And I apologize that I just couldn't be that friend that she needed. I don't know. Life moves on. God removes one person to open the door. For, for other people and you know what that's always been something that I've been fearful of as well I've been feel fearful of allowing new people into my life hello I'm gonna always protect the circle and I'm gonna always have my eyes open however I cannot block my blessing from fear of allowing new people into my life so that's where I'm at sometimes you gotta let go the old to make room for the new and for those who are currently here in my life you know it's just we have to work together and communicate to be positive and make sure that we keep the lines of communication open so therefore like I said there will be no more texting none if we don't talk FaceTime phone call face to face I'm not coming and now I'll take a short text, you know, meet me at such and such address or something like that or a picture. But deep conversations, not allowed. Not allowed. And on that note, y'all, I'm going to get my ass back upstairs. And yeah, I'm about to get ready to get my week started. And I just got off the phone with my girl Jazz and she was all emotional but laughing at the same time about her birthday wishes video that we that just went live for her. So, y'all be sure to stop by and tell my girl happy birthday. And she is one of the greatest loves of my life. My oldest daughter. I love them both. She was the first. Jada is the last. And them two hold a very special place in my heart. So, on that note, I will see you lovely Eclectnistas tomorrow, same time, same place. And y'all have a blessed week. And y'all too, kick negativity to the curb, okay? Because that's, it, it, that's where it belongs, on the curb. <coughs> see y'all later.